Shalom. This is Gina Stewart with Toward Jerusalem Council 2 here in Columbus, Ohio, and we're here again today, April 5th, 2024, 12 noon to 1 p.m. We are fasting, we are praying, and we're standing on the walls of Yerushalayim today with Adonai. We have been granted the privilege to do so by him via the Ruach HaKodesh as we join him and pray with him as he stands with his people and keep watch on the walls. Welcome again. We thank you for continuing to stand with Israel as we together as one community, one body connected via the Ruach, connected because of our union with Yeshua HaMashiach, the son of David, that we can come together and pray even in our respective places but with that and through that, we are united as one. And yes, we want to thank Adonai again as we just remind ourselves of Tehillim's, I'm sorry, of Yeshayahu 62. For Zion's sake, we, I, will not keep silent for Jerusalem's sake. We, I, will, re will not remain quiet till her vindication shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a blazing torch. The nations will see your vindication, Adonai, and all kings your glory. You will be called by a new name that, that the mouth of Adonai will bestow. You will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand in Adonai's hand, a royal diadem in the hand of Hashem. Hallelujah. And so as we're praying today, we want to exhort ourselves as well as we remind ourselves of Tehillim 2, as we proclaim it this afternoon, as we proclaim it into the cosmic world, into the cosmic forces, we proclaim it over Israel. Why are the nations in an uproar and the peoples mutter vanity? The kings of the earth set themselves up and rulers conspire together against Adonai and against his anointed one. Let's rip their chains apart and throw their ropes off of us. He who sits in heaven laughs. Adonai mocks them. So he will speak to them in his anger and terrify them in his fury. I have set up my king upon Zion, my holy mountain. I will declare the decree of Adonai. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask me and I will give the nations as your inheritance and the far reaches of the earth as your possession. You shall break the nations with an iron scepter. You shall dash them in pieces like a parter's jar. So now, O oh kings, be wise, take warning. O oh judges of the earth, serve Adonai with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he become angry and you perish along your way, since his wrath may flare up suddenly. Happy is everyone taking refuge in him. Hallelujah, 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 amen and amen. 
We thank you, Adonai. We thank you for the privilege again to join you on the walls. We thank you that you, Adonai Zebaot, Lord of hosts, Lord of the armies, the warring king, the God of war, that you are warring with and through the idea of soldiers, Lord, and that you are warring as you are the one who has the control over the wars that happen here first, up here first, and on the land second. And so we are confident in knowing that as we join and pray with you, Lord, that your angels are hearkening unto your voice as you've taught us in Daniel 103. They excel in great strength, Lord. And so we thank you in advance for the victory as you, the conquering king, goes forth in the power of your might. B'Shem Yeshua, Amen and Amen. Amen and Amen. So we can, yes, pray with confidence because we know who he is and what he is doing for his chosen people, for the land and the prophetic utterances he's spoken over the land, over the people. And we know that his will and his promises will be fulfilled. So today we do want to bring our attention to you just for your prayer, uh, for your prayer points. We do this time have a couple of them, key takeaways from the FFOZ um, Messiah articles that are posted in the Messiah magazine with, on the FFOZ website. So we do have a couple of those for us for our consideration for prayer. And we encourage you to pray with us along these lines. And of course, we always know that the Ruach HaKodesh will lead and guide you in pray and how he is praying with and through you as well. And we have here on the screen the updates from the April 1st, 2024 uh, article key takeaways, the Israeli airstrike reportedly kills IRCG official in Damascus. Tens of thousands of, is of Israelis protest in Yerushalayim against the Netanyahu government. A couple points, hostage families join anti-government protests. Northern border sees deadliest day in escalating conflict with Hezbollah. And we also have noted here from that article, in a dramatic escalation of tensions on the Northern Front, an alleged Israeli airstrike targeted a location in Damascus, Syria, closely adjacent to the Iranian embassy. We have seen unconfirmed reports of the death of Mohammed Reza Zahedi, a high-ranking official in the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. This operation marks a significant and bold move by Israel, the most significant escalation of the conflict with Iran so far, raising the potential for broadening conflict within the region. And so with that report, we are focusing on the points that I have on the screen to my left focusing on the protection and strength for the IDF soldiers. Uh, we will be reading some of the Tehillim um, Psalms 91, 20 verses seven through eight from Bad Midbar numbers 10 through nine. And we will be praying for their mental health and material provisions. This has been a very, very long war and I can't even imagine how tired mentally, physically, I'm, there's no word, I can't come up with one to even express what I can feel that they are experiencing. And especially with the escalation and what we just read about them moving further into different regions. So please pray for their mental health, material provisions, protection and strength. We're also um, praying 
along the lines of Yeshayahu 26 verses 3 to 4, Bereshit, Genesis 16, 13. And we also do want to pray for the IDF who are still in the North Gaza and are always on high alert. Uh, secondly, the intercessory Psalms, if you would want to add to your prayers that we just mentioned before, to pray for the safety, their safety, the safety of the IDF Defense Forces and a couple of Tehillim Psalms are 20, 59, 91, 121, 144. And of course, we also want to always pray for the, the, uh, the land itself, pray for Yerushalayim, the land itself, the people and going about their daily activities, even in the face of war. And when we do get alerts of any attacks in the land proper, and as well as with the IDF in the war, we can always go to Tehillim 10, 20, 10, 20, 46, 69, 83, and 140. Just a couple of song, psalms, Tehillim psalms, to encourage us because of the heightened activity in the war. And we want to keep our focus on the people as well in the land. We want to keep our focus on the people as well in the land. And of course, you can always go to uh, the various reliable sources that we have given you the links to, to get any updates as well as um, prayer points and prayer scriptural references. I also wanted to share with you uh, a prayer request it's an excerpt. I'm going to share with you an excerpt from the FFOZ um, Messiah magazine. I did not put this one on the screen, but it was. It is written by Shimon Eliyahu. He wrote this on March 28th. I do have a link here on the screen that you can go to the FFOZ um, uh, Messiah magazine site and you will find this article. I did not put it on the screen here. But he wrote this on March 28, 2024, after the UN vote on March 25th, and we all are aware of that. I do not want to become political on on this in this format. Uh, we want to keep our focus on the Word of God and what Adonai is doing, but we do know that we have to be informed and be aware of what's going on around us so that we can pray informed prayers and that is why i'm mentioning this even though it is from a somewhat political point and i'm just going to read this to us and again please visit the messiah magazine site on ffoc and you can read this article in its entirety from a messianic jewish perspective the article says the unfortunate reality of an Israel without allies is not unexpected. Though Israel has faced extinction several times in its short modern history, the U.S. has repeatedly come to its aid. Today's cooling, speaking of March 5th, March 25th, today's cooling relationship between the two states marks a geopolitical turning point that could set the world on the path to the dire prophetic fulfillment of all nations against Israel. On that day, I will make Jerusalem a heavy stone for all the peoples. All who lift it will surely hurt themselves, and all the nations of the earth will gather against it. Zechariah 12.3 and it goes on further to say, but do not despair. The redemption and Messiah are quick to follow. That is something that we need to grapple and grasp and pray over and fast as we stand with Israel and we see 
what is transpiring in God's chronos time in this time in history, we must be alert and aware. I highly encourage you to pray and keep that particular prayer point in your prayer going forward. With that said, I want to thank you again for your continued prayers and worship over Israel, Yerushalayim, the Temple Mount throughout um, Adar 2 and Ramadan. Thank you for continuing to pray for the IDFs and Yeshua's progress and complete victory in Gaza, in Judea and Samaria, the Jordan River Valley, in Lebanon and along all of Israel's Mediterranean and Western Golan and Jordan River Valley borders. Thank you so much. Thank you. We And I know Adonai, as we stand with him, that he can look and see that, yes, I can find and I have found people that are praying in the land, standing with him, Shem Yeshua. So we just want to thank you again. We want to ask you to continue to encourage each other, strengthen each other as he sustains you in the journey of intercession so that we not become weary and choked and overwhelmed with the cares of this life and the world. Matthew 13.22 talks about it. We also want to thank you as you continue to stand um, in individual prayer and corporate prayer with Israel and the, the, the Israelis in the land that they are coming to a place of corporate repentance and as we as gentile messianic disciples of yeshua standing with her can also join and strengthen her as she is coming to that place and returning back to the promise promises that they have been given by adonai through the torah and the prophetic utterances that he's spoken over them. And it's beautiful to watch. So join them. One of the places that we're standing with them on there is Daniel 9. So just wanted to remind you there. So as we pray today, I just want to exhort you with this final prayer as we watch the escalation and the events of the war. Continue to be fervent in prayer, knowing the times we're living in, just like we just did. We are want to be aware of what's going on around us. Be sober and vigilant, walking circumspectly. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 17, 2 Peter 3, 3 through 4, Ephesians 5, 15 through 16. And may Adonai bless your time of prayer today and fasting. Pray in the rock on every occasion with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, with all that we have in mind, keep alert with perseverance and supplication for all the Kedoshim. Ephesians 6.18 B'Shem Yeshua, Amen and Amen. The blessings of Adonai be upon you and your families. And those of you that you are praying together or if you're praying individual, individually, may his shalom peace be with, keep and carry you. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen and amen.